All right, here we are arriving in Caseville, Michigan. We got this True Value Hardware store on the right and a fake lighthouse. We just passed the Caseville Cemetery. Now we're coming into the main part of town. Another, another Lefty's Diner. Wonder if it's the same, probably the same Lefty's we had one down the road, right? Probably. I don't think it, I've been through Caseville once before, but I don't really remember anything about it. So we're going to be rummaging around Caseville here for a few minutes before we head back home. Of course, there's the ubiquitous Caseville General Store. Yeah. <laughs> Briggs and Stratton and store looks out of business. A lot of stuff looks out of business here too, but who knows what we're gonna see here. Well, you're not the rich person. There's a water tower over here with a fish painted on it, which is actually a perch. Caseville used to be known as the perch capital of Michigan. What? Cute dog. Oh. <laughs> um, there were, I don't know if there still are, but there used to be perch fishing boats. You'd come up here and they go out and take you out on the bay perch fishing on a drift boat like we did in Florida that time. Okay. Perfect. Shaker's Ice Cream Parlor. And the Fitness Club. Here's a little creek right here. A little swale or possibly it goes out to the bay. Yep, there's a little creek that goes out to the bay. Now, oh, it smells like a resort town. Yes, this is reminiscent of all the resort towns you see. That scared me. I did too. Throughout Michigan. A lot of people don't know how to drive here. Lots of uh, restaurants, bars gift stores, but is there a fudge shop? I bet there's a fudge shop here somewhere. Probably. Here's another river that comes through town, covered with algae, but empties out into the harbor, it looks like. Caseville Methodist Church. And with that, we've passed the uh, main part of town. Although there still is the uh, beach here. And the campground, and the brake wall, and the boardwalk. I went the wrong way. You were trying to get down there to the beach. Yeah, I. We turned too soon. Too early. And if this door was, if this gate was open, you could probably loop through there and cut around. But hmm. Like they keep the campground fairly well locked down, doesn't it? Yeah. Might be able to go this way. I don't think so, Doug. Now we're gonna find out. This goes nowhere. Leads down to the water. Oh yeah, it was left only though. Hey, right, we're gonna get to see Saginaw Bay here in just a second. What a lovely little lakefront community right here. All vacation homes, probably for the most part. This would be a cold and windy place to live in the wintertime. Oh, there is some sort of public access down here to the beach and the breakwater and the boardwalk. Here it is. Rat birds. That bird ain't gonna fly. You might have food. And there's Saginaw Bay. And here's where the river comes out. People just sitting here having a good time fishing and swimming. And I don't know if anybody's swimming today because it's kind of cold. We got people out picnicking from their campgrounds. And it's just a lovely little place. Very, very nice. And we're back at M25. How many of these people are Jimmy Buffett fans, do you think? Oh, that's right. You didn't, you Doug just brought up Jimmy Buffett. This is the town where they have the Cheeseburger Festival, isn't it? Yes. Cheeseburger and Paradise Festival, which was like last week or week before. Yeah, officially right. canceled this year. But you wouldn't know it by the number of people who were here, from according to Doug. Look at those little tiny houses there. That's a hamburger stand. Pizza on the bay. Parkview party store. Dairy Queen.
Private campground? Okay. Oh, and another beach access site. Oh, Not nice. nearly as many people as it was two weekends ago. No? I had to park all the way down there. Oh, yeah. no alcohol, no dogs on the beach, live webcam in use, beach closes at dusk. They don't listen to that here. Everyone and their brother brings their dog out here. And alcohol probably too, right? Yeah, I did, I'll as, be honest. As long as you're discreet about it. Yeah, I'll tell them. And the, not being an idiot. Yeah, I'll tell the camper, or the, the watchers. I... Oh, this is lovely. There's some islands out there, look at that. A beautiful playscape with sand to catch your ball. There's a dog, he's not actually on the beach, but he's, he's kind of on the beach, but not. No campfires, no dogs. Quite a few people, but they're spread out in family groups. And there's a pavilion here, and this is very nice. You can see this would be a lot more popular a couple weeks ago when the weather was warmer and there wasn't a cold wind blowing in from the uh, shore. Where's the restaurant? Right oh. there. Oh, I see. That's that's a restaurant. They have uh, well, they have carry out. Like carry out foods. Yeah. Okay. I thought you meant like a fancy set down no, restaurant. No. Rentals, ice cream, scooped ice cream. Gotcha. Up. Yep. I see lots of jet skis out on the water. Yeah. And people on paddle boards and volleyball nets. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, come on, coming through a four by four. Yeah. If alcohol was out on the beach, they could deliver drinks. A week or two from now, we could drive out on the beach. Probably. The truck's too clean, they got mudding today. That's true. Yeah, Bay Watch on the beach, a little food concession, and ice cream, and rentals, and everything you need to make your vacation here at the beach fun. Yeah, I gotta say, I've never been exploring the town before. I drove through it one time, maybe 20 years ago. And after that, I haven't been here, so. This is, this is pretty nice, I gotta say, I like it. Small crowd though for a holiday weekend, isn't it? I had to park by this one. The white truck is where I had to park. It was so packed. Doug had to park all the way out here last week, or two weeks ago when he was here. Yeah, no spots open. Look at the seagull, oh my goodness, look at the flocks of seagulls.